what I'm doing. Just gonna hope for the best, I guess. Yeah, that should do. <sighs> okay. So, what inspired me to play with this new camera? Why? Waves, of course. Hey everybody, um, I have a new camera that my dad's given me with a microphone which we may may not keep, we'll see how it goes. He ha he himself has admitted it's not the best and it's got one of those like open flip round little screen thingies and it's really weird because there's like stuff on the screen and it's weird. But at least I can see it when I go in and out of focus. How to annoy your technology. Move. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it seems to be holding up okay. Anyway, yes. Hello, 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 hello. Um, back for another update and I've just realised that my darling child has drawn on the box. So, as I said in my little mini intro, today we're going to be working on Waves by Cloudsberry. And if I call it Clouds Factory at any point in time, I'm really sorry. But... I was immersed in the stitch model longer than I have been immersed in the puzzle world and Cloud's Factory is quite a well known puzzle brand. A stitchy brand. <laughs> and I'm why. Um, yeah. Um, I recently, but well, we all know about Cloudsberry and how good a reputation they've got. And I was having like a clicky clicky lucky lucky through the website. And I'm scrolling through and I'm like, look at all these 500 pieces because it is so, so hard to find a 500 piece jigsaw that I like. And um, as I'm scrolling down, I notice that they have a subscription service. They have a 1000 piece subscription and a 500 piece subscription. I'm like, well that saves me having to work out what I'm going to get. I'll just let them send it to me. And um, with the 500 piece, you can sign up for... I think it's just three or six months it could even be three six and twelve but definitely three or six i know that one for sure off the top of my head i signed up for the three month one and when it's like going to the basket they're like would you like this one i'm like yes i would so i click i get it comes straight out to me and i'm like yes i had to wait till the end of the month to get my first subscription box which was awesome I'm going to do a whole video and you'll see it then. It's brilliant. I'm thrilled because I was genuinely thinking about getting it and it came I'm like, yay. So yeah, I'm going to try out more gradients because as you know, I've done the Elena Essex puzzle. This is more like a gradient gradient. If it will focus. So I was like, yeah. I've got to say, I think this is absolutely beautiful. It hasn't got like, something that I am quite glad about is you keep hearing people say that they don't like the dark, dark part of a gradient. That's as dark as this goes. So I'm very happy about that, that I don't have to deal with like different shades of black. And I'm sorry if you hear scrabbling. My cat is around. I just realised something else that could be potentially making a noise. life gym but not as we know it yo Woggy you'll come up and say hello so yeah um, I am currently on a mission to get beautiful beautiful jigsaws that I can use to decorate my new home because I haven't been here very long and it is currently still lacking a personal touch this, which is my bedroom, is basically the only room in the entire house that is fully decorated. Most. Okay. Apart from like having things up on the wall, like paint and that, this is the only one that's fully done, which is kind of annoying. I haven't even started in the bathroom yet. Handy there. Um, I got great expectations for this. Like I say, I know they've got a really good reputation. Um. 
and I've been looking forward to doing one for ages. Well, I say ages. I'm new to the puzzle world. But basically, since I heard of the puzzle world, I have been itching to see what Clouds Berry. And of course, given. Oh, they are a small UK company based in London, if memory serves. And given everything that's been going on in. Yeah, London. Given everything that's been going on in the world, it got. Brexit messing up UK retail, well UK supplies, and of course you've got uh, the big Covid. And but yeah, anything that can be done to help little companies is always good. So before we go any further into the video, if you look in the description box you'll see that I have got a referral code. Not a sponsor, but they sent out in the mailing that uh, well, they gave people out in emails referral codes. This is my referral code down below. If you use it, and I'm sorry, the camera's going to zoom, 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 zoom. It's an automatic, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, if you use the referral code down below, you get 20% off your first puzzle. So if you already got one from them, just use a different email. I mean, I'm being honest and good. Anyway. Okay. So here we have the Carberry box. You can see it has my name and address on the front. And it has a special Carberry tape that goes all the way across, which includes like a tree of life, if my work can would condescend to work. Come on, dear. Over here. Bring it closer, will it? There we go. One tree planted for every puzzle sold. So, if we open it up. Um, let's start off with this sticker. Cloudsberry. Yeah, I like puzzles. Yeah, I quite like puzzles. I don't know if I'll ever actually use that. Because that's one thing with stickers I hate. Once they're used, they're used. Got a hello. Hi, thanks for your order. I hope you love it. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments. If we're able, um, if you're able to leave a review, we would really appreciate it. We're a small business, and feedback helps a huge amount. How's the whole video? And a special note for you, puzzler. See you at the end of the month for your subscription. Happy puzzling! I have taken out a three-month Cloudberry subscription just to test it out. I will be giving my thoughts on that one as well. Then on to the main event. I've actually had this for a few days and it's been killing me to not open it. So we've got the waves pattern on the front. With this beautiful gradient. Actually, tell you what, I'll get the cellophane off very quickly. That's it. Okay, so yeah, beautiful gradient pattern on the front. Just says waves on the side, that side too, post a puzzle, very appropriate. Um, oh, made in the Netherlands, it's a change. It's got standard like health warnings where it's made, clouds berry. Got the size there? Nope, the size not there. Oh, we haven't actually come across the size. Oh, there it is. Uh, 68 by 48.5 centimeters. So your basic standard thousand piece puzzle size. 
Okay, now for the main event. If the little come off. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, I've got to say, these colours are a lot more vibrant than they look on the box and online. Um, a little hello poem. You're holding a, sp a special puzzle that's diff that's different from the rest. Suitably, uh, sustainably sourced, expertly cut, and designed to be the best. Feeling stuck, missing a piece, or simply want to chat? Just send us a quick message. It's really as simple as that. We are a small, friendly team, and we really care about creating the perfect puzzling experience. Send us an email with your feedback. And one of our puzzle nerds, a real life human, will be right back to you. You can see more of our puzzles at cloudberry.co.uk. That's cool. Guessing that. Oh, this is huge! This is not going to fit my friend, I don't think. Not all of it. But yeah, that is huge. Beautiful. I might actually give this to my mum. Give her the poster. I'll keep the puzzle. And as weird as this sounds, there's actually a really nice smell coming out the box. Like um new book. That sort of smell. So at a quick glance it looks like the vast majority are the standard puzzle shape which has an almost matte finish, I won't call that a proper matte finish. Focus. There you go. Mind that looks pretty matte there. But yeah it's got like a, a low gloss canvas finish. Like a blue grey back good thickness to the puzzle piece as well. If it will focus, there we go. Mostly. But yeah. So yeah, the vast majority appear to be your standardised shape. But I have seen yeah, like there. I can't say that I've really seen much in the way of other shapes. Oh, got three here. Three posts. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, so the plan of attack is I'm going to pull out all the pieces like this that I've got any white on, and I'm going to use that as a frame to get going. So, I'll just reposition the camera and we'll crack on.
Okay, so I'm back for day two working on my eaves and I had a few issues. Like I can show you with three pieces right now. Like one. even having to look for because I didn't put them aside or anything I just put them in places I found where they went um, I had lots of little bits like that where it wasn't cut properly there's places where well, I can just remove this edge piece but it almost looks dirty I'm assuming that's puzzle dust, but it doesn't want to come off easy. In places, the pieces don't really want to stay together very well. I hope that once it's like more in the places next to it, they'll stay better. So far, I'm actually a bit disappointed by the pieces. What I will say though is, I'm more like um, Ravenberger. They will change the like, cutting blades regularly. So I'm going to assume that my piece was one of the last pieces before the cutting blades got changed out. And that I just got a rough one. Because let's face it, you make enough of anything and you're going to get a rough one. It looks like it was just my turn to get one of the rough ones. Um, as I have previously mentioned, I have got a three month subscription. So I'm going to truly hold off judgement on the pieces till I see another one. Because I know everybody's really enjoyed these puzzles and really like the quality. So I'm guessing, like I say, mine was just at the end of the blade's life. And that is just a fluke. But I'll turn it around and show you where I got to. I actually had to pile these down instead of having them heaped where they were, to stop. Well, so then I could cover it up, and make sure that the cat didn't run off with pieces, because she has done that in the past. But I managed to get all of this done. Which I'm really impressed by, because this is like the first time that I've done anything quite as intensive as this, and I think I may have just spotted where a piece goes. Well, actually, maybe not. I'll save that for later. So, yeah. Well, the thing is, even if this is a bit of an iffy cut puzzle, I'm still enjoying doing it, and I'm really looking forward to having the finished picture. Because I do think it's absolutely beautiful. So even if I have a bit of drama putting it together, it's worth it. So, I'm going to get back to it, because after all, I'm not going to get it done if I don't get on with it. So, back to the time lapse.
finished. Okay, so managed to get finished. Took about six hours, which isn't too bad, I don't think. Um, I have got this stuck with some sticky back plastic. So I have seen people online like shake these. They're not supposed to be stuck together, but mine was a little too loose for that. So it is stuck with plastic, and my camera has gone all fuzzy. De blur, please. There we go. It stopped being fuzzy. So yeah, all finished. Um, I have to say that I do think that in doing the white outlines that go around the edge of the circles really helped me with my speed at being able to do this because this is after all only my second gradient and my most intensive of gradients that I have done so far. Keyword, so far. Um, it's got a lovely feel when you stroke it feel it is nice, the image is nice. Um, even though mine does seem to be a bit looser than what most people online seem to be, it was still a tight enough piece of it that you could pick up a good sized chunk and move it around. Didn't really have any issue with uh, false fits. Between like the colour obviously giving you a good heads up and uh, with how I did the white lines first that definitely helped you work out roughly where the piece was going to go. So I don't say that, even though a lot of people do say that gradients are fairly simple, this is probably in a way quite an easy gradient because of full of white lines. I know I said that I had a few problems with the pieces, but to be honest it wasn't really that many. So it wasn't a huge, huge problem with the pieces, it was definitely a thing though. Um, there was still a bit of puzzle dust on the pieces that I haven't been able to get off yet. To be honest, I haven't really tried that hard, so... Um, but yeah, like... Right, shall, oh, that's a bit positive. I think that might be a bit of naughty child. I've just noticed something. There's a line that runs down the middle of the puzzle the pieces above and below are a mirror image of each other. Give me a quick sec and I'll see if that happens on a different axis. The piece is going in a pattern. It would appear. There's actually a couple of pattern repeats going along the side, but top and bottom are a definite mirror. You know, if I'd noticed that sooner, the might have helped. Oh well. Um, yeah, the fact that the puzzle itself never goes truly dark at the top really helps to not make it too difficult in doing those areas because you always hear people say that they were the hardest part. On this one, for me, I found that the light parts were the hardest part because it was really quite hard to, first of all, see the lines on the pieces and then truly be able to tell the difference between the different pieces. But you may have had like five pieces in your hand and they all look pretty much the same colour, but once you've got them with the rest of it in greater contact, they did seem to definitely show you where they needed to go. Um, even though my pieces did have some damage, they weren't too badly damaged, they still fit in place nicely. Like I say, it was a bit of a loose fit, but not the end of the world. You know, you're not going to look at it and it's going to fall apart. Um, you can actually look at the back. And you can see the quality. It doesn't seem to want to stick though to the plastic as well as they normally do. But I am going to hold out truly on a comment about that because this is a different bland brand of plastic to what I've used before. So it could be more of the plastic's fault as opposed to the puzzle. But in a way that's actually probably a good thing because of course uh, if I wanted to get parts it could be easier. I truly think it's a beautiful piece of art 
so that then if you either want to display the post that comes in the box or the actual puzzle itself on the wall, I think that it will be an excellent addition to most homes. Well, pretty much any, to be honest. As I've got green walls, everything goes with green. Um, I'd honestly say that if you're a lover of gradients, or you are new to doing gradients, this is probably a really good puzzle because I'm new to doing gradients myself and I didn't have any real troubles doing it. It was a fairly quick one to do, so if you haven't got much time, which like I don't, I really only have, as you can see, evenings to work on puzzles when the kids are asleep because both of them are puzzle munches. And they swallow another piece and I may strangle them. <laughs> Now, as I said, when I open up the puzzle box, I will probably give the poster to my mum, but like the junior said I am, I have misplaced the poster, so I don't know when that's going to happen. So it's a good thing that I am planning on decorating with the puzzle, because otherwise I'd be a bit screwed. <laughs> um, as I said before, I have already taken out a subscription, and I have got part one of my subscription in. And if you want to see which one it is, check me out on Instagram. I'll put a link down in the description below to my Instagram, or you can just look me up. Clumsy Stitcher, not the Clumsy Stitcher, but Clumsy Stitcher. The original Clumsy Stitcher. I'll also include down below the referral code, where you'll get 20% off any puzzles that you get. Um, in full disclosure, I will get a discount too. So for every puzzle you get, I get a discount. Not a sponsor, but I do get a sort of sponsor benefit. Feel free to try it out, because if you haven't taken, if you haven't bought one, why not save a bit of cash? Or if you have bought one, you know they're worth it. Save a bit of cash. Like I said before, like I said before, strictly speaking, it's for a new purchase, so. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting more in my subscription range and as long as money stays okay I will probably continue the subscription past three months part. Because after all you never know how your money's gonna go. Hopefully it's gonna be okay. Sorry I keep looking off, I've got the puzzle down here and it's like distracting. Really I need like behind the camera so I'm like, pretty picture. So. Um, like I said, I do recommend this. I would happily do it again. I'm happy to buy from the company again myself. Um, I'll probably wait till after I've got all three subscriptions before I do actually buy any, just to make sure that I don't end up with any accidental doubles. And that going in and out of focus is just a little distracting. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you think of this puzzle. Have you done it yourself? Would you do it yourself? Have you got any Clasberry yourself? And do you know of any other small independent companies that you would highly recommend? Because I am up for trying new. Because after all, like I say, we gotta help the small companies. Particularly when times are hard. Obviously if you can, don't like go without food yourself. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I really look forward to any recommendations you are able to make for me, including any other Cloudsbury puzzles that you think are really good. Because like I say, I am planning on getting more, not until after I finish my subscription. So yeah. Thanks everyone for stopping by. So yeah, thanks everyone for stopping by and I hope to see you all again soon. Thanks. Bye.